I woke up one morning and I, I was just crying. I remember going to brush my teeth and I looked in the mirror. I remember just looking at myself and just like, really, this is who you are. This is, this is what you want to be. I kind of made a decision for myself that I, I wanted to be done. I wanted to end my life. My name is Dominic Still, and I'm from Tri-Cities, Washington, born and raised. I have been pole vaulting for probably nine years now. With pole vault, you always go out on a miss because that's how the competition ends. And so you're gonna fail over and over and over again. And as long as you pick yourself back up and you're willing to keep striving, things will fall in place. But you gotta be willing to make the sacrifice. After graduating high school, I had an opportunity to go vault collegiately. Really, my focuses were not on what they should have been. Before I found the church, I was going down a pretty dark path, dealing with some mental stuff, whether it was depression or some anxiety. And the way I really dealt with that was drinking or going out and partying or going find some other outlet to, in a way, numb myself. I actually had a friend who went to church and she was out of town that time, but I was like, I need something more than what I have right now and I need to go to church. So I walked in a little late to the sacrament meeting on a Sunday and I'm in black skinny jeans and you know, like a black shirt and all pierced up. And I just remember sitting next to this lady and she really reminded me of my grandma. She seemed so sweet and she had a big smile on her face. And then I remember her just looking at me and going, I just want you to know, we are so happy that you are here. And I just, I smiled and it something clicked and I was just like, wow, this is, this feels right. After going to church, things started getting a lot better. I started having more structure, something like to hold on to, but the thoughts of suicide kept getting more and more strong. One night, I kind of made a decision for myself that I wanted to end my life. I walked out of my house. I started writing a big group message to all my friends and family that it wasn't their fault and that I loved them and that I just feel that this is for the best. And I had been walking for probably an hour and a half and it was snowing and it was cold. And there was maybe one car that passed the whole time. And then out of nowhere, I just see a truck fly by me and the truck slams on his brakes and then the truck backs up and then looks over at me and says, hey, are you doing okay? Do you need a ride anywhere? Because there's nothing going that way. Everything's back that way. And I said, I was just getting ready to turn around. Kind of looking back at it, I'm walking towards darkness. I'm walking towards a decision that ends everything. And for that man to point out, nothing's down there because everything's back there. And I know with all my heart, that was Heavenly Father's doing. That. He probably gave that man a prompting to check on me and to make sure I was okay. And so I started walking back, made it all the way home, and I woke up the next morning and I got the strongest prompting in the world. I needed to fast. I just put down my phone. I didn't want to touch any technology. And so I pulled out my scriptures and I prayed and prayed. I'd go on a walk and I'd pray in my heart. I'd come back and I'd read scriptures. I remember getting down on my knees and praying to Heavenly Father, just take this pain away from me, please. Teach me what I need to know. Is the church true? Is Joseph Smith a prophet? Are you real? Is Christ real? Like, is this the spirit that I'm feeling? And I just got the sweetest confirmation in my heart, the most beautiful feeling of peace, and just an amazing thought in my head and said, it is, it all is. This is the right thing I'm doing. This is the spirit, this is Heavenly Father, this is Christ, and this is Christ's church. Having the restored gospel on this earth has changed everything for me. It has taught me to come to know my Savior and my Redeemer Christ and learn more about Heavenly Father. It's taught me how to humble myself, how to be meek, how to care about other people and learn to love. I mean, it's given me everything I feel I need in this life and more. I'd say now when I look in the mirror, like, I'm so happy. I see light in that person's eyes. I see a smile. I see someone who's striving. And I see someone who can still be better. And I want to keep striving to be better.